He is an actor, director, comedian, Tony Award winner, and best-selling author. There is one title, though, that Billy Crystal probably enjoys more than most. He's just written another children's book, this one telling the story of the first year of his grandchild's life. So the title would be Grandpa. The book is called Grandpa's Little One. Billy, good to see you. Good, good morning. Good to see you, Matt. Nice to see you. I always like when, when authors of children's books come in and people say, well, this is so easy because they're short and you don't have to. That almost makes it harder, doesn't it? It is hard because it's only 32 pages. I mean, look, this is how thick this is. And that. But you have to get the right amount of words on every page and the right essence. So when it's read to a child, they get it. And a parent can read it, or a grandparent can read it, or a sister, brother, and, and just, uh, you know, just have the right amount of words to say. It's the second time you've done this. The first one was all about, I, I already know I love you, and that was anticipation of the yes, first grandchild. Yes, the first child. was written from um, anticipation and emotion. The second is written out of uh, greed. <laughs> <laughs> you figure I'll go back to the well, right? That worked pretty well, Why number not? one on the New York Why Times not? list. Yeah. <laughs> so you've gone back, and this time you concentrate on the first year of your, basically your second grandchild's, no, it's the first, first year one, of the yeah. first grandchild's life. Because yeah. you have a two and a half year old and an eight week eight old. Eight week old, yeah. Right, two so daughters. what was it about the first year you liked well, so much? Well, the first couple of months, they're like little, little lumpy. They're, <laughs> they're either fast asleep, on a breast, on a bottle. They're Tommy Lee, basically. <laughs> and, and, and he won't be up, it's okay. And then they, everything starts to happen. All of these great things, you, yeah, you have kids, and they yeah. start to walk. So the book is about, First piece of cake, first time in a swimming pool, first Scientology meeting, stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Which in Hollywood comes pretty early, yeah. right? I'm curious as to how it, what it's like to experience those things as a grandfather as opposed to experiencing them with your own daughters as a father. Well, the great thing is, one, is to watch your, your daughter be pregnant. That's a thrill, and to feel a little big. strange, though, isn't it? No, no, because it's it's natural. It's great, and 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 it's moving around. And we were it was terrific to to feel that and feel that life is continuing that way. Then the baby comes, and you play with it. Instincts come back, and then uh, you hand them back and go to a movie. I mean, that's that's <laughs> at the, the end of the thing. day. Yeah. It, you get a second chance too, though. I mean, it, you're kind of a parent once removed, yeah. and you can do the things maybe differently that you weren't all that satisfied with the way you did when you with your own kids. Absolutely, and and um, you know, my my oldest, well, she's going to be three in June. Uh, my son-in-law is a Red Sox fan. He grew up in New England, so now it's almost like one of those old. Western movies where the child is taken and raised by Indians, <laughs> you know, so, so, so she's not the, not the Cleveland Indians either. So she's living in a Red Sox house, so that's when she comes over and I roll a ball to her, if she catches it, I go, say Jeter, say yeah. Jeter. And if she throws it bad, I say, say Manny, yeah. say Manny. Inside baseball. <laughs> you, you work with an illustrator on this, and we just show a couple of pictures if you want to hold them yeah. up there. But interestingly, it's not someone you met. I never met him. His name is Guy Porfirio. We spoke over the phone. We emailed uh, pictures back and forth, or I'd get faxes, and I'd, I'd like walk him through it. And I said, I change diapers. I still, you know, I sort of, it's easy to do it because. You know, she's not on steak tidbits or anything. It's just sort of easy to get out of it. So this is, I said, listen, make me a, a shot of him changing a diaper and just think about Johnny Carson when a, when a joke didn't go well. That Look face. Look at the face of that guy. This See has got to be hard, though. I mean, if you can't sit with someone and say, no, a little more like this, a yeah, little more he, like that. He, he was in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I was just, it was on the phone. I did just, it was great. And then the last shot, the, the grandfather changed. We sort of made him like an everyman. Like, these are all staff members at the show who are grandparents? Uh, or family members of staff members, something like that, yeah. So we try to make the guy look like an everyman. But look at this, this. If you can get in close, doesn't he look like President Bush? He does. He really does. Just telling this little baby you have a $9 trillion debt you're going to pay off. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that nice? <laughs> Let me ask you, you mentioned baseball a second ago. Who, who do you like this year? Well, I have to like the Yankees. I mean, I think yeah. they're going to be great. And uh, going up to opening day in New York, beautiful spring day, it's going to be fantastic. Uh, Barry Bond's probably going to break the all-time home run record. A lot yes, of clouds over his head with steroids. Should there be a, an asterisk next to it? There should be an asterisk next to Roger Maris's name to say, hit the most home runs not using performance-enhancing drugs. So um, not the other way around. Well, no. I, you know, I, listen, there should be a law in baseball that a player's head should not be bigger than the mascots. You know? <laughs> I mean, we don't get stronger when we get older. I mean, look at us. <laughs> Real quickly, John Stewart hosted the Academy Awards. What do you think? I thought he did a terrific job, yeah. and I was glad to be a little bit a part of it with him. Just watching from the sidelines. The book is called Grandpa's Little, little One. Billy Crystal, always good to have you. Good to you see here. you, Matt. It's a pleasure.